Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Valley Stadium for tonight's varsity football game between the Wahawks of Waterloo West High School and your Valley Tiger. All fans are reminded that standing on the seats is not permitted and that all aisleways and ramps are to be clear at all times. The upper west level landing of the stadium is reserved for our guests with disabilities or handicap needs. We ask all others to refrain from standing or congregating on this level. Fans, before you leave tonight, we encourage everyone to discard your own trash in the many trash cans in the stadium to help out our staff. Thank you for helping us stay clean and safe. The Valley Tiger Athletic Booster Club store is open at the west side of the event center. Get all of your Tiger Spirit items early. Also, take the time to join the Valley Tiger Booster Club. Stop by and see the many Tiger Spirit items available. Interested in a Booster Club pass to Valley events? Prepaid electronic family passes are now available. Scan the QR code and purchase your family event pass, giving you access to all regular season events. Or you can also purchase a 20 event punch card or great. Good sportsmanship is expected at Valley High School as we set good examples for our students, players, and everyone who is attending. Let's continue to show respect and sportsmanship throughout this contest and refrain from negative cheers, chants, or behavior. attention to the video board for this week's scouting report brought to you by Iowa Ortho.
and gentlemen, I'm Brad Rose, Director of Activities and Athletics at Valley High School. Welcome to Valley Stadium. Tonight we host the Waterloo West Warhawks. The 5-1 coming in, third in the RPI. The Tigers are 5-1 and, and fourth in the RPI. So we're looking for a great matchup. The Warhawks are led by Brady Dean, a quarterback who has nine touchdowns. They'll have to slow down Zay Robinson, who's returned a kickoff in the last three games for a touchdown. He had three receiving touchdowns touchdowns last week for a total of four in one game. He's hot and so is the Valley offense. Um, also tonight we have youth night with the YMCA flag football and we have the say thank you for all the help the West Des Moines Kiwanis provides each home game. Please say thank you to our West Des Moines Kiwanis ticket takers. And Iowa Ortho is the official sports medicine provider for all Valley Tiger athletics. Thank you. 
more than these rich ass boys, feel me? Alright, let's go, man. Fuck these dudes, man. Hey, cash out on me, cash out on three. One, two, three, cash out. Next, we've got the fifth graders, led by head coach Kevin Johnston. Now, here's the sixth graders, led by head coach Brad Cochran. And finally, the seventh graders, led by head coach TJ Sharada. Let's hear it for our Tiger Junior football players and coaches. Now, here comes our YMCA flag football teams for the fall.
Mohawks. We've got number one, Bryce Westmeyer. Number seven, Ben Frazier. Number eight, Jaden Pham. And number 12, Brady Dean. For the Tigers, we've got number 11, Xander Fries. Number 12, Ethan Stemmler. Number 14, Dante Sharada. And number 62, Nick Bazell. Valley's won a toss. They've chosen to defer their option in the second half. Out of the West, they'll see. for the Waha. Andrew Rogers returns the ball for the Waha. They'll take over first and ten. On their own 19 yard line. in on the tackle for the Tigers. to fourth and two for Waterloo West. Zay Robinson and Jaden McGregory deep to receive for the Tigers. for the Tigers. First and ten from the Wahawk 42 for the Tigers.
Jagrout hands off the ball to Darius Mason. Tackled by Waterloo West. Miles Dart. Groats pass complete to Zay Robinson. Tackle by the Wallhawks. The Groat hands off the ball to Jaden Brown. The Wahawks, number 99, and on the Dontrell back, Baker in on the tackle. There's a flag on the play. Face mask on the Darius Mason carries the ball for the Tigers. Tiger by the Wahawks, Destin McMurrin. First and goal for the Tigers. At the Wahawks, six. carries the ball for Valley. Aiden Knight in on the tackle for the Wahawks. Second and goal for the Tigers from the Wahawk three. No gain on the play, makes it third and goal from the three for Valley. Get that way, you gotta back up. Both of you. I'm ready. <laughs> Touchdown, Tiger. King Coleman on the three yard carry into the end zone. The extra point is good, making the score of the Valley Tigers seven. Waterloo West, Wahawks, zero. West Des Moines Community School Student Scholarship Fund. Josh, Deshaun Kemp, and Destin McMurrin deep to receive for Waterloo West. Sean Kemp on the return for the Wahawks. Brady Dean's pass intended for Destin McMurray. No game makes it second and ten. And Frazier carries the ball for the Wahawks. Two 
yard gain makes it third. on the tackle for the Tigers. That'll make it fourth and one for the Wahawks. Five 
penalty. It's fourth down. Robinson on the return for the Tigers. The group's pass intended for Zach Schemper falls incomplete. Okay, we get touch on the idiot's King Coleman on the carry for the Tigers, tackled by the Wahawks, Michael Moore. Good pass intended for Zay Robinson, falls into Trent Grevengood lines up in punt formation for the Tigers. Tackled by a host of Tigers. One yard gain makes it second and nine for the Wahawks. intended for Deshaun Kemp falls incomplete. Ryan Arbob on the tackle or on the coverage, excuse me, for the play. Zay Robinson and Jaden Brown deep to the seat for the Tigers. Brady Dean 
lines up in punt formation for the Wahawks. Ethan Stemler now in at quarterback for the Tigers. King Coleman on the last carry for the Tigers. Stemler's pass complete to Zay Robinson. Tackle by a host of Wahawks, led by number 62, Kane Vaughn. Ethan Stemler hands off the ball to Jaden Davidson. Davidson. Jaden Davison on the carry for the Tigers. Tackled by the Wahawks, Ben Frazier. Second and four. And eighteen. Similar pass complete to Zay Robinson. Pushed out of bounds by Nathaniel Klein. Third and one for the Tigers. Jaden Davison carries the ball for the Tigers. Tackle by Wahawks Nathaniel Klein, but not before another Tiger first down. Injury timeout. There's a flag on the play. That's another touchdown.
Next point is good, making the score that Alley Tiger 21, Waterloo last 0. That's another donation to the West Des Moines Community School Student Scholarship Fund, thanks to tonight's game sponsor. Down by Valley's Collins Tricker C. Down and Gemalt Moore eight to receive for the Tigers. as quarterback, hands off the ball to Darius Mason. Dontrell Baker in on the tackle for the Wahawks. Nine yard gain makes it second and one for Valley. Darius Mason carries the ball for Valley. Sean Kemp on coverage for the Wahawks. First down, Tigers at the Wahawk 21.
King Coleman on the carry for the Tigers. Jaden Brown for the touchdown. Christian Hutter on the kick left the point out of the hole with Dante Serrata. Ty Walsh is the long snapper for the Tigers. Next point is good, You're making the score of the Valley Tigers 28. Waterloo West, Wahops 0. It's another donation to the West Des Moines Community School Student Scholarship Fund. Torian Doss on the return for the Wahops. Check by Valley is number 13. Straker C on the sack for the Tigers. Make it third and 17 for the Wahawks. Pass intended for Jaden Brown and Janalt Moore deep to receive for the Tigers. Brady Dean in punt formation for the Wahawks. Davison on the carry for the Tigers. Kane Vaughn on the tackle for the Wahawks. First and ten Tigers at the Wahawk 43. Intended for Jaden Brown falls incomplete. Oh, 
Drew pitches the ball to Jason Davison. Tackled by. for Waterloo West. Brady Dean hands off the ball to Nathaniel Klein. Tackle by Valley Evans. Two yard loss on the play makes it second and 12. Dean's pass intended for number four, Justin McMurrin, falls incomplete.
Ethan Stemler hands off the ball to King Coleman. Nathaniel Klein on the tackle for the Wahawks. Six yard gain makes it second and, or second and four for the Tigers. Point is good, making the Squirrel Valley Tigers 35, Waterloo West 0. <laughs> Fradiani's kick results in a Jimenez in on that last tackle for Valley. Terrell Hoskins carries the ball for the Wahawks. Colin Straker C and Xander Freeze on the tackle. Back up. There you go, right there. That'll bring up third and six for Waterloo West. Go, 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 go. Up a little bit. There you go. Carries the ball for the West. Alonzo Jimenez and Dustin Hertford on the tackle for the Tigers. That'll make it fourth down for Waterloo West. Nathaniel Klein. Nine yard gain makes it second and one for the Tigers. Oh, 
Robin Brooks carries the ball for the Tigers. Michael Moeller on the tackle for the Wahawks, but not for four A Valley first down. Stemler hands off the ball to Robin Brooks. Nathaniel Klein on the tackle for the Wahawks. Second and one for the Tigers. Robin Brooks carries the ball for Valley. Robin Brooks carries the ball for the Tigers. Tackled by the Wahawks, Miles Gardner. First down, Tiger, first and goal for the Tigers. From the eight yard line. Stemler hands off the ball to Brooks. You guys all right? Nathaniel Klein and Kane Vaughn on the tackle for the Wahawks. Second and goal for Valley from the three. Back up, back up. You're good. You're on your own now. Tiger. Robin Brooks on the three yard run in the end zone. Get out of this camera, man. Christian Hutter on the 60 extra point out of the hole of Dante Serrata. The extra point is good, making the score of the Valley Tigers 48-42, excuse me, Waterloo West, Wahawks 0. And another donation to Sean Kemp, Jason McMurrin, and Corey and Doss seek to receive for the Wahawks. Jaden Pham on the carry for the Wahawks, tackled by Valley's Ben Booth. One yard game makes it second and nine. Jaden Pham met in the backfield by Valley's Jerron Horn.
Brett McGovern hands off. The extra point is good, making the score the Valley Tigers 49, Waterloo West Wahawks 0. And the Victorian Dogs seek to receive the Long Waterloo West. Concludes our third quarter of play with the score of the Valley Tigers 49, Waterloo West, Wahawks 0. Fourth and five for the Wahawks. Blake Dorn camp deep to receive for the Tigers. Brady Dean punting for Wahawks. Jaden Baum carries the ball for the Wahawks. Tackle by Valley. Jaden Baum on the carry for the Wahawks. Tackle by Valley to Ron Horn for a loss. That'll make it third and 13 for the Wahawks. Stemler hands off the ball to Manny Remick. Man, 
Annie Remick on the carry for the Tigers. Tackled by Omar Cabrera. First down, Tigers at their own 21-yard uh, line. Ethan Stemler on the QB keeper. Stemler recovers the errant snap. Ruben Dewati falls incomplete. Evan Caduce on the tackle for the Tigers. Second and nine for the Wahawks. on the carry for the Wahawks. Robert Orson and Julius Harris on the tackle for the Tigers. Third and three for the Wahawks. Terrell Hoskins carries the ball for the Wahawks. Tate Conklin on the tackle for the Tigers. First down, Wahawks. At the Valley 36. Governed on the quarterback keeper for the Wahawks. And that concludes our ball game. With the final score of the Valley Tigers 49, the Waterloo West Wahawks 0. Thanks to our West Des Moines Community Schools Student School Shop Fund sponsor, West Des Moines OBGYN Associates PC. Our next home game is next Friday, October the 25th as the Tigers will host Marshalltown for senior night here at Valley Town. This is the least hype shit ever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get the fans in the Get the fans in the Hey, 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 hey,
That's a very good win. We thought we would come in and win this football game, didn't we? Right. Okay, we just didn't know how it would go. Now, Anthony's waiting for us up there next week. Now, they lost tonight, so they're backed into a corner on the playoff team, just like we were a year ago when they came here in week eight. That game next week will be, we know we're in the playoffs, but the game next week will determine are you going to play one or two home games, and who do you run into in round two and potentially in round three, okay? So it's a huge game for us. It doesn't mean we get in or don't get in. It means what pathway do we get assigned on our way to where we want to be, all right? So Sunday, we're going to get back together. I'm not asking some of you to come. I'm telling all of you we need you there. On Monday, there's no school, but I'm not asking you to come to practice. I'm telling you we need every single one of you at practice unless we're sending you up there to play in the JPB. Okay? So let's, let's enjoy this one for tonight, and then we got to start to turn our thoughts to Ankeny. You can go back and look at our practice with them. We've got, you'll get all the film. They're a very capable football team, and they've played a good schedule. So we want to be sure that we're ready and we give ourselves every opportunity to win that game. It's a huge game for us, men. We know week nine will not, that's not a good football team waiting for us in week nine. Everything's about next week. Okay, come on in here. Yeah. Win on three. One, two, three, win!